Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create your own custom sign up page. In my last video, I showed you guys how to edit Wix's version of the sign up page. However, in some cases, some of you may need a custom one. So in this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to accomplish this. But before I get started, I do want to mention that we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So if you're new around here or you have been around for a while and just haven't subscribed, I really want to challenge you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really would help out a lot. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a members area. So in order to do that, we need to go up to add. We'll go down to member and we're just going to press add to site. Once that's added to our site, we're going to notice a login bar in our header and we're also going to notice it added a page for my account. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and add a new page. So we're going to come over here to site pages and we're just going to create a page and we're going to add a blank page and then we're just going to call it sign up. So in order to make this actually work, we actually need to come over to dev mode and we need to turn this on. Now it's gonna open up a few panels, which this one on the left we will not need, so I'm just gonna minimize that for us. And since we have activated dev mode, we now have access to a new item in the add panel for inputs. So if we grab out one, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it as a second one for us. For this top one, we probably want it to be like an email, so we're gonna come over to settings, and we're gonna type in enter your email. And type, we're gonna set it to email as well, and of course we want to make sure that required is checked and field title I actually want to make sure that this is in the placeholder not in the field title however you can do it in any way that you want and then for this one we're going to say enter your password and just for aesthetics i'm going to go ahead and add some text that says register now and the last thing that we will need is a button so i'm just going to come over here and i'm just going to bring this one out right there the next thing we need to do is actually code this to work. And before I get into the code, I do want to mention that this code will be available on my website. So if you want to copy and paste it into your own website, just go ahead and click the first link in the description. I also want to mention that this code was used in Wix Training Academy's video as well. Michael has an amazing channel where he teaches people other different things on Wix, so be sure to check out that channel. So before we actually add any code, what I want to do is actually name these different inputs. So for this email one, what we're going to do is select it. And down over here in the bottom right, we're going to be able to rename this input. So for this one, we're going to name it register email. And you will notice that I capitalized the first letter of the second word. This is what is referred to as camel case in the coding world. So basically after the first word, the first letter of every word needs to be capitalized. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the second input, except this one is going to be register password. And then for this button, we are going to name it register now. And for the code, I went ahead and deleted all of the unnecessary stuff, um, and I'm just left with this initial function. But before we actually tell the function what to do, we actually need to import a few things from Wix. For example, if we press an import, space, and then let's type in Wix users, you're going to see that it's going to assume an API that we're trying to call. So we're going to import Wix users from Wix users, just like that. Perfect. And then below that, we're going to import another one called Wix location from Wix location, just like that. And now we are ready to actually start the code to make this work. The first thing we want to do is add a dollar sign, W, parentheses, apostrophe, and then a little hashtag symbol. And we're going to name it register now. And you're going to see it kind of assume which one we want to do. So I'm just going to go over to register now and press it. And then on the right of it, we're going to go ahead and press on click. Inside the parentheses, we want to do function. And we're going to add some more parentheses. But instead of putting anything in it, we're going to go ahead and go one over to the right. And we're going to add some curly brackets, just like that. And we're going to press enter. So basically what we just did is we basically said when register now, which is this button, is clicked, a function will happen. Now what we need to do is tell the function what to do. 
In order to do that, what we need to do is actually create variables for this input right here and this input. So we're gonna say let email equal dollar sign W apostrophe hashtag symbol and register email, just like that. And then we're gonna say period value, just like that. Then below that, we're gonna press let password equal dollar sign W parentheses apostrophe hashtag symbol register password and period value. And now that we have both of these variables set up, now we can go ahead and tell this function how to use those variables. So we're gonna do wix users dot register and we're gonna type in email password. Then below that, we're gonna type in a period then, and it's gonna add some parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we'll add another set of parentheses. We'll go one to the right, and we're going to equal, press the equal sign and the greater than sign, and we're gonna add some more curly brackets and press enter. So what this is basically saying is it's going to submit the values of both of these variables to the Wix users data set, and then it's gonna do something else. So what we wanna do is actually send the users to a different page. Once they press register, we don't want them to just stay on this page. So we're gonna go Wix location to, and we're gonna add some parentheses, apostrophes, and then we're gonna type in a slash, and we need to add a page. And we'll just go ahead and add a general page, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and go over to the SEO basics and the settings, and we're gonna get this URL slug. Now, of course, you probably wanna change this to whatever you want it to be, but for this example, we're just gonna use it. So I'm gonna copy this general three. I'm gonna come back over to the signup page, and I'm gonna paste in this general three right there. So if I publish the website and come over to the signup page, and let's just type in an email. And we'll type in a password and press register now. And it looks like I made a mistake with the code a little bit. So you're not really supposed to have these parentheses on the right of the value. So that is my mistake. So now let's go ahead and save and publish again. And if we fill this out and type in a password and press register, it should take us to general three, just like that. Now, if we come back to our database and we look at our members, we're gonna see the fake email as one of our members. And there's also gonna be a password, but of course it's gonna be protected data, so we will not be able to see it. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next one.